Hi, this is Tim Rohr from Rohr Music Studios, and this is uh, a second video in our finale tutorial. So we're going to pick up where we left off last time uh, with our We Three Kings of Orientar file. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, entering in the baseline notes. Now, looking over, there's a couple odd things about the baseline notes. We're going to go over those in just a second. Um, but first off, let's start off putting all the rest of the notes that we need. So if you look right now at where our cursor is for the for the notes this purple thing right here this is showing that we're going to start entering notes in the right hand and we need to enter in the left hand there's a few ways we can do this i can just click a note right here in the left hand but another way to do this with uh, some shortcuts is to hit control and then down and that moves that down there so that we can start entering notes in the bass line now, right now with where this is at, if I hit the note of A, like we talked about last time, this is not close enough uh, to hit the right A, the A that we're wanting for this arrangement. And so I'm going to move this up just a couple and then hit A. And that puts that note right where we want it. And we want this as a dotted half note. Now, the shortcut for that is going to be the period. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the very bottom notes of these. And I'll show you why we can do it this way a little bit later. So here's our next one, which is an A, and a period again, and a G, except we want that to be a G sharp. So what we're going to do to uh, raise that a half step is we're going to hit the plus symbol on our keyboard. And that turns that into a G sharp. If I wanted this as a flat, I could hit the minus symbol. That turns it into a flat. Or if I wanted it as a natural, I hit the N. And that turns it to a natural. And period again. And then we have an A, and another A, another A. And here in measure seven, we've got another G sharp. And then an A, and an A, and then a B, and a G. This is where we encounter one of our first strange things with this bass line. Now, if you look at this measure, there is a, a half note with uh, two quarter notes above it. So we're going to enter these uh, different note values that are happening at the same time on two separate layers. Typically the lower notes, um, I put them on the second layer so that automatically uh, Finale knows to put the stems pointing downwards. If you look right down here at the bottom, there are different layers right here. And we're currently on layer one, and I'm going to switch this to layer two just for this single note. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to say, here we go. So we've got our G. If you look in our example, we also have a rest at the very end there. And the next measure also has this same setup of, of two different note values. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the notes for that. And now I'm going to switch over back to layer one right here. If you want, you can look in Finale's help file for the shortcut keys to switch back and forth. Now I'm going to enter the upper notes here. And we're still on layer one. Anytime that you switch layers, it's a good idea just to double check that uh, you're still on the correct layer that you want to be using. So now our next note in the bass is going to be an E. There's that E, B, and C. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a moment and I'm going to enter the rest of these notes. I'm going to show you how we're going to go about entering the different harmonies that are in this left hand. As a brief note uh, from our last video, to switch back and forth between different rhythm values, what you can do is you can use the shortcut keys that are on, on your number pad. Number six is the shortcut for half notes, and number five is the shortcut for quarter notes. And just like we did in our other video, we can hit one of the number keys to give us different intervals above or below certain pitches. Now to do this a little bit more quickly, I'm going to use this tool right here that is called the repitch tool. And I'm going to hit Control and click on the note so that it selects that note without editing it. And now I'm going to have my fingers on the number keys and on the arrow keys so that I can quickly move between measures and I can more quickly add these harmonies into our bass line. So here's three for a third above and another third above. And then we've got a fifth above and a third above and a third above and a third, and then another fifth, and a third. And this 
this one is a fifth above and a third above and a fourth above. And I'm just going to skip over these nodes. And then we've got a sixth above and a sixth above. And just like before, um, we want to add a sharp in this. Now, if we look at what's happening right now, I have got just the G selected, just the G is purple right now. So if I hit sharp, it's going to make just that one note sharp. Now there is kind of a trick. If I wanted to make this whole set of notes, if I wanted to raise that by a half step, what I can do is I can control and click on the stem. And as you can see, that's selected all of those notes right there that are part of that harmony. And if I hit the plus symbol, it's gonna make everything I've got selected sharp. Now let's go ahead and Get that again. I'm going to control and click on just the note that I want and hit the plus sign for sharp. And six again, and then a fourth, a third, a third, skip that note, and a fourth, and a third, and a third, and a third, and a sixth, and a fourth, and a fifth. And so now we have all of the baseline notes entered for this song. For the next video, we'll talk about adding some of the smaller details, things like slurs and dynamics and such.